me again. Uh, this video was made again on March, May 29th. So, still not in June yet for me, but because I have to finish up my videos. It's not like I'm required to do them, but um, just finishing them. So, uh, today we're going to be making something simple in case of the gist, nothing like our cool doorbells or images that we've been making. We can like insert and upload sound files. I'm gonna hit a pause on the sound thing itself. However, that will probably be coming up next. I'm not gonna continue making just a post about sound, so I could just continue the sound unit, but I'm taking one break. There's something in the book that I still want to teach you guys how to make, and I think you guys may actually like and want to learn how to be um because this thing is super duper cool. And, um, before I, like, hit a pause on the book, I'm just going to get back to it. So, putting the pause on sound instead. We already did two videos on it. I think it's time we take a break on it, but if you enjoyed the sound unit, or you want to cut the image unit, I will see if I can kind of do the image unit, if there's something else in the image unit that I need to put. Let me know, but for now, the image is good where it is. Now that we can insert an image and stuff, but really, images doesn't have that many possibilities. Like, it can go, but as far as sound goes, there's more you can do just with plain old sound. When the sound comes, images are pretty basic, and I don't want to go that much into just splitting images and also sound. So I'm going to just mix and match them, you know, maybe like a little bit of sound, then a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. So, um, I have been thinking of maybe making a calculator, because just however, I did put that project on hold. That is something I've been working on. However, the code for that is a little bit complicated and maybe too much for you guys. So, I don't want to put that much on you because there's so much I'll probably have to explain. And we're not ready for that yet, okay? Yes, you, we have done an iPhone and all of that. However, a calculator is probably a bit more complicated because that's supposed to do math functions. And math functions aren't something that you can do easily. So, that's a little more. I got my pool table set up and everything, so I've been playing a lot of pool. Well, not a lot. Pretty much every night. It's still uh, evening-ish, I guess. Probably going to play tennis maybe today. Um, and then by 31st, my membership at my tennis place is going to stop. So I'm going to have to look for somewhere else. Let's get started with you guys then. Yeah. Okay, and just call this um, loop. A loop. As a matter of fact, one of my friend's company is called 1000 Dimensions, so it's gonna be interesting to make. So, well, don't call it a loop, you can also call it spirals. Spirals. Loop of spirals. Spirals. And. One thing that I want to show you guys is rather than just doing a circle in the references, there is one value that I will have to teach you guys for part of this video, okay? So this is part of a little motion unit, however, it's a little bit like scale, but it's called scale. I'm going to switch it up. Have you guys ever heard of the scalar value? Scalar value JavaScript. So the scalar value, primitive values, number string, boolean, undefined, blah blah blah, sign value by the component values, references JavaScript only one point and contain values and not other variables or references. So basically, um, the scalar values are. Um, this is a little image on what it is. Scalar value JavaScript images. And you've probably seen a lot of code. So it's like what it's being done to and like a little complicated though. So hopefully you guys do know it because you're gonna be using this. Or it's important in this. First of all, we set up some variables. So let's do that first. Okay. First, we're going to um, do is the variable angle, a variable angle, and the variable angle is going to equal 
mm, 0, 0.0. 0. And then it says variable offset. The variable offset, remember just one equal sign because we're just giving it a variable of value. And we're going to call it 60. And variables now, we're going to be doing variable scalar equaling, what was it, 2? Yeah, 2. And then the other variable is variable speed. Kind of change a couple of these as to how you like. Um, but the speed actually needs to be very small. 0.05-ish. Hopefully that'll be okay. For the Cree Canvas, I would recommend to keep these the same. Okay, I'm gonna, I've been leaving 400 by 400 alone for quite a while. So, I'll just leave it alone again. Next is the fill, which is part of the, which actually, actually, take this out of the function draw, okay? Sometimes I do that and I put in the setup, we're going to do the same thing. So, in the setup, after create canvas, and just paste this there. So here we're going to be doing a fill of zero because it needs to be black. And then background 220 um, should be a little different. Actually, I'm going to make it 10, 90. It's been a while since I've been different colors. And that's done. So now we get into the function draw. The function draw. I should move this back a bit. Is so now we're going to be using our variables. Variable x equals. Then we're going to be doing some math here, okay? Variable x equals. We're going to say it equals offset. Offset plus cos, which you may have heard of. A little math there. And it's built in times scalar. Okay. The next thing that we're going to be doing is variable y. Let me move this back. Equals off plus. In angle times scalar now we're going to bring our ellipse which is basically we're going to loop over and over again x y 2 2 yeah these have already been reserved for variables now all we need to do is the angle Speed and one more scalar and should loop, loop, and 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 loop. So eventually, it'll keep on looping. So, we can adjust maybe the rate, and there we go. A loop of spirals. So, this was a pretty basic and only really only took us 19 lines of code to write this. And it's, in the end, pretty simple. We could, however, move the ellipse somewhere else. I don't like it being in the corner of my screen, please. So, we can fix that. However, it's not going to. Because I'm going to do file save, but actually, no, no, I'll keep going. So, let me stop the code here for a second. What we can fix to this is, um, we could change where the ellipse is positioned. So, how do we do that? With ellipse mode, right? The ellipse mode. And 
we're gonna be doing center. I've been doing center for a while. I don't want it to be in the corner. Now hit play. Now you're like, okay, but why is it like that? Well, it's because we didn't change anything, okay? We still did x, y, 2, 2. So what do we have to change? Well, x, y is where they're located. So, this is where x is, this is where y is. How about, I want like x plus 100. And like y plus 100. That's a bit better. Not exactly perfect, but but I'll take it. Yeah, it looks okay. We got our lips. We can also do a fill for our lips. However, the black and the blue and everything, plus it's not a perfect circle. This is also when the lips can be used for. Okay, this is why we didn't use a circle or an arc. Keep on looping, and I think it, it looks really good. All right, so. Our loop of spirals is pretty simple and basic, and I guess it's basically done. So, now let's look at what if we change the speed to, let's say, this. Yeah, too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. But look at also the shape changes. Like that. Like here, what if we did like one? And all was reset. Here it's going like slower. So you can like play around. What if we did like nine? Nine is like probably a little faster. Not exactly times two, but a little faster. You know. So now that we are done, um, I'm also done now. You've reached the end of the video, and I cannot wait to get started on something else with you guys. Maybe new projects or something that I've been putting on hold. I'll check. I've probably put a bunch of projects on hold and probably look at them and. This is really cool though, okay? We have a really nice little um loop spiral. So thank you guys for watching this video. More videos will be coming after um maybe June or July, somewhere there. Uh, I see now it's starting to fill the screen up. I'm not I might even be able to wait till then. Just look at that. Look at how it's like it's not exactly in the middle, so that's what's kinda like that. Like there's a little space over here, but eventually that'll also get filled up and this will always be the center though. All this bounce around. See, and then now it's all filled up. However, oh, probably just gonna go after the screen. What does that mean? Make it bigger. I'll reset though. I probably wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, because then the entire thing will be disproportional. So our code is done, and I will see you guys sometime soon. Bye.